Well, I thought that was a, a terrific performance tonight by our team. Um, I think it started on the defensive end with the, with the mindset of keeping the ball out of the paint, making them shoot over the top of us. I thought um, our guys just had a great, great focus level for that at the start. We had a terrific patience against their zone, you know, which can be a challenge to play against. Our guys were able to just work the ball late in the clock and, and take some really good shots, did a great job of getting it into the high post, down to the short corner, uh, and then making the right play out of it. Um, you know, Across the board, I think that's, that's as well as we've played all year. Hofstra is a really hard team to guard because they play four guards pretty much the entire game. Uh, those guys can all dribble, pass, and shoot. And if they can get themselves to the paint um, and knock down their threes, you know, it's, it's, it's a real problem for, for teams, and um, I thought that we had such good attention to, the, to our gap help tonight and, and really trying to keep it out. Nate was unbelievable with his ball screen coverage early, um, and that just set the tone for us wanting to, to really keep the ball in the paint. And then when they did get their looks from three, I thought we did a phenomenal job contesting and, and making them really tough, and, um, you know, it was, it was enough for us tonight. Yeah, I thought our guys had a great focus offensively for what we were looking to do against their zone. Um, we talked a lot about just we, we needed to play with a lot of movement. We needed to get guys in and out of the high post. Uh, this team is really good defensively when you just kind of stand in your spots against a zone, which, which you can do against a lot of zones. But the way that these guys match up, you know, you have to move more and you have to spread them out. We did a great job getting guys down to the baseline, whether it was a short corner or the corners, just to really stretch the zone. And then I thought we just we, we took really good shots the whole game so we had some good looks that we passed up for some great looks and uh, and, and just the patience we displayed throughout the possessions was really important. Yeah, I thought this was a terrific team effort. Um, you know, sometimes a lot of these guys that, that are, are helping us win a lot of games, it doesn't always show up in the stats. And tonight, you know, everyone kind of put some, put some numbers up, which is, which is great to see. But, uh, you know, our, our, our other guys outside of Nate and Andy have been really good this year for us. Uh, I think that a lot of times you just pick up the box score and you look and see who scored what. But, um, you know, there's, there's been contributions from these guys all year long, whether it be, you know, in, in the games or in practices. And uh, I think we saw tonight, you know, an opportunity for those guys to have uh, a little more of a scoring load. Well, I think it, it says that we, we need to start playing some more home games, first of all, all right? <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm just I'm pleased with the way that this team has just gone about working and preparing. Um, we, we go into our, every game, I think, with, with a really similar mindset of just let's go out there and play as well as we can. Um, you know, you play the games that are on your schedule. We've never looked at it and said, you know, why do we play three home games or three road games to start or, or anything like that. You just, just go play the game and, and, and worry about the things that we can control and play as well as you can. Uh, I think this group has really embraced that and, and certainly did a great job of that tonight.